In the last few years, there's been a movement in menswear away from traditional fabrics like wool, linen, and cotton, and towards modern, high-tech artificial fabrics with special properties like stretch, non-iron, and stain resistance. State and Liberty is one of the biggest companies in this movement. And they make classic menswear pieces specifically designed for athletic physiques. Lately, I've been feeling frustrated with the off-the-rack fit from most dress shirts, and I've been looking to try something a bit more innovative. I also hear from a lot of guys that dressing up is just too uncomfortable, but State and Liberty makes fabrics that are stretchy and soft. So I had to check out their store in Los Angeles for myself, and I decided to bring you guys along with me. What you're about to see is the entire selection at their store on Melrose Avenue. Unfortunately, the store associate was not able to speak to me on camera, but he was able to give an audio interview, which I'll play for you underneath as we look at the clothes in the store. Then I'll show off some pieces that we tried on and I'll give you my overall verdict on State and Liberty. So we're known for an athletic fit, performance fabric. We're lighter, we're more comfortable. Um, we cater to everybody, but we're mostly known for doing like an athletic build. We're here on Melrose Avenue in LA. Mm -hmm. What would you say is like the typical LA style that's different from like New York or other places? I mean, I feel like LA, especially right now, like the whole trend is just to be oversized, very streetwear, very, you know, you don't really care, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, um, which is funny because I feel like in New York, I feel like everyone's so eccentric like they really try and out here nobody cares they're in sweatpants from aloe and lululemon you know but i wish people tried a little bit more sometimes. that's true you know yeah I, mean? I think but, that's why there's not that many like menswear stores in la really yeah and like if you, even if you go to like a club or a party out here or whatever like you'll notice like a big difference like people will be in t-shirts and jeans which is fine but you know it's a little basic yeah <laughs> that's definitely the style of la it's like yeah. casual comfortable laid back for yeah sure. So I was mostly interested in picking up a dress shirt and I wanted to add a pink one to my wardrobe. I wanted to see as well how it looks with the sleeves rolled up. It's definitely a lot tighter like on the body than a traditional dress shirt. As you can see, I loved the fit and feel of this shirt and I decided to pick it up for myself. The performance fabric feels significantly different to a regular dress shirt. It's definitely more stretchy and it's also more soft and lightweight. The fit on the shirt is not 100%. I have a very narrow waist, so there's still some excess room around the bottom, but overall it's probably the closest to a perfect fit that I've ever had from an off the rack dress shirt. So the cuffs and the collars are made from a stiffer material than the rest of the shirt, which does feel incredibly agile and soft. I can move around a lot in this, which makes it very comfortable if you're gonna be wearing it all day, either at a special occasion or just your day-to-day -day wear. So next, I tried on a couple of suits. It's kind of weird having like a stretchy fabric. Yeah. The suit jacket is kind of unusual, yeah. Hmm. It definitely feels like... It seems a little big on you. It's more flexible. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I think I might try the floating okay. on this one, yeah. Yeah. Very much, but 
Yeah. I do you want to have a 42 though? Oh, did they have a 42 in this? I think they should. Just okay. to see the difference. Yeah, sure. I'll just stay here so you can see the difference between the 40 and the 42. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. The light grade does look quite nice on you. Yeah. I think it balances the pink a little bit. It's funny because I think I feel differently about the stretch fabric with different garments. Like I love it on the shirts, on the jackets. I think I like the more rigid, like a wool. Sure, you're used to like a standard suit, right? like a regular non. Yeah, I don't normally really get stretch fabric. Yeah. yeah, but I like I it on the shirts. More. So even like our guys are like, mm, I don't know. It feels like too like athletic material. Yeah. Which that's what we're known for, but yeah. for some people, really oh, like for I noticed that people who constantly wear suits, they don't really care for it. You get used but to guys it. that don't wear suits and they don't like to, yeah. they love it. Because it's, you know. For sure, yeah. I think depending on your build as well, like the shirts for me is so hard to get fitting right with a regular yeah. material, whereas the blazers kind of fit okay. Yeah. yeah, normally, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I think actually the 42 fits a lot better. Yeah, this, this material in particular tends to fit a little more like tighter. Okay, yeah. And also, our pockets are jetted, so you can wear them more traditional way. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, I think the 42 is way better. This yeah, I think so, yeah. It does look better. The pants are great, you don't even need more stuff. Yeah, obviously, like with the stretch fabric, so you get a little bit more like the crease marks as well on the shoulders, yeah. Yeah. We weren't able to get the fit quite right, unfortunately, with what they had in stock. Overall, I didn't like the stretchy fabric as much on the suits as I did the shirts. I don't feel like it is necessary with a blazer. Personally, I like a blazer to provide structure. The material of the pants was comfortable, but the cut of the pants is very low rise. It sits very low on your waist, and personally, I don't find that very flattering. The seat and the crotch was also very high, and therefore it just wasn't a very comfortable experience for me. Finally, I tried on one of their polo shirts, so let's take a look at that now. I think it looks good on you. <laughs> It is so tight, it's like very like almost like crayish. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's fluttering like on the arms. Yeah. And you still have a little bit of room in the back, but I think it looks good. I think this would look good on like an older guy actually. Yeah. With this shade of blue. Yeah. The fabric feels super lightweight, like like a sport shirt, like a gym shirt, you know? Yeah. yeah. As I said in the clip, the material of the polo shirts was extremely thin. It feels so much like Lycra, and actually they do use a small percentage of spandex in the clothes. It's extremely lightweight, and I think it would take some getting used to to actually not feel quite self-conscious in this shirt. But I do like the stretch and the fit, and I actually think this would be a wonderful option if you're a guy who plays golf. So what's my verdict on State and Liberty? Well, I like the style of this store. It's very classic, very timeless and simple, but I do have mixed feelings about their fabrics. The shirt worked wonders for me, and I will say that my girlfriend particularly liked the silhouette it cut, being snug enough to show off my shoulders, but then tapering down toward the waist. Considering the shirt is just $95, it's an excellent fit for off the rack and I think it would be hard to beat at this price range. However, I was not such a fan of the material used for the suits or the low rise cut of the pants. The suits are around $550, which just feels a bit too much to be paying for a polyester fabric, especially when you consider that you can go to Suit Supply and get a Super 110's Italian wool suit for less than $500. One thing I loved about State and Liberty is the store experience. The associates there are extremely helpful and warming and you really get that personalized shopping experience. They've also got a selection of drinks that they'll offer you while you browse the racks and try things on. So I've only got positive things to say about the store except for their size selection. Considering I'm a guy who wears very regular sizes like medium, 40, 42, they didn't have a lot of clothes in those sizes for me to try on, which was disappointing, but it is quite a small store there on Melrose. So although there are pros and cons to 
to State and Liberty, I would highly encourage you to try this brand for yourself, especially if you're an athletic guy and you've been struggling to find clothes that fit you off the rack. It might just be the solution you've been looking for and I'm very happy with my shirt. Let me know in the comments if you have any experience with this brand or what you think of performance fabrics in menswear in general. I look forward to sharing another store experience video with you guys soon. I'm actually about to head off to Buenos Aires for the month and I'm hoping that I can go into some tailoring stores there in the city, interview the tailors and show off what that city has to offer in terms of classic menswear. So I hope that sounds like something you guys would be excited about. Obviously, let me know if you have any recommendations for the city of Buenos Aires and I will see you guys in the next video.